Today I just wanted to do a really quick video and it's going to be about this gaping front armhole. So a lot of times when you're fitting your garments, what you'll find is, is that you'll have a little bit too long of a front armhole. So you're going to get gaping sort of in this curved area of the armhole at the front. Now sometimes this is going to indicate that you need a full bust adjustment. But sometimes if your bust line is fitting quite well and you don't have any other drag lines here around the bust or directing to the bust, sometimes it's just that that front armhole is a little bit too long for what you particularly need. So this is when you're going to use this particular adjustment. So what I can tell you here is that this front armhole is going to gape at some position. So when you have your muslin on, I want you to make note of exactly where it is because you're going to need that in order to know which side of the notch you're going to need to remove the extra length from. So for instance, if you're finding that it's sort of gaping here, you just want to pin it on your fitting muslin to see how much it's gaping as well as what position it's gaping because you're going to use that information to move to your pattern. So we're going to start out by working with this front pattern piece first. So we're going to set these other pattern pieces aside. Now once you've determined exactly what position and how much your front armhole is gaping or how much it's too long, you're going to draw that position in on your pattern. So for instance if it was gaping below the notch here, what you're going to do is draw a line in approximate position, same position as it's showing on your muslin, somewhere below that notch. Now of course if it's gaping above the notch, you'll draw your alteration line above the notch somewhere in terms of the position that it showed on your fitting muslin. Now when you have that, what you're going to do is going to take that excess length that you're seeing in the front armhole and move it to your side bust dart or your bust dart wherever it may be. So all you're going to do is cut your pattern to the bust point and then the other slash line is going to go through the bust dart. So I'm just going to choose the center line of the bust dart here and you're going to leave a hinge there at the bust point. And when you have that, you're going to then measure out the distance that it was too long. So in other words, if your armhole was gaping by a half an inch, you're just going to make a mark here. And you're going to close this slash line and put that excess volume into your bus dart. So it's just really a matter of a bus dart rotation. And you're going to see here that as I close this gaping front armhole, you're going to increase the volume of your bus dart. Okay, so this doesn't actually add any excess um, width or length to your pattern, it just increases the bus dart volume. So you're removing the extra length that you had here and making it disappear inside of your bus dart. So that's the correction there for the front armhole. But of course you know that if you have a sleeve, you're going to need to make an adjustment to your sleeve. I'm just going to show here where it's overlapping. Now, because you shorten the front armhole, your sleeve is no longer going to fit in the same way. So once again, you're going to make sure that you know at what position that gaping occurred. So in this case, my example here is the gaping was happening below the notch. So any correction that I make with my sleeve has to also happen below the notch. Otherwise, you're going to have misaligned notch positions. So now that I know that I'm going to reduce this front armhole length by a half inch, I'm going to draw a slash line here on the um, sleeve as well. And again, I know that it's got to come from below the notch. So I'm going to draw a slash line below the notch, parallel with the bicep line, and I'm going to then close this front armhole area on the sleeve by the same amount. So I'm just going to mark half inch away there. I'm going to use the pivot point here at the back sleeve and I'm going to close this section here. So if I just slash that through and leave a hinge there on the back side,
and I close my pattern here to meet that half inch mark. So I'm just overlapping there by that half inch. And then of course I'm going to do have to do some truing here. I do need to blend this in. And if you find that you get a point here on this side too, make sure you, you do blend that in as well. But you can see here by doing it in this method, I have actually reduced my front armhole length and the corresponding sleeve pattern so that they will again start matching. Now there's just one more step that you need to take and that is just to straighten out your center sleeve line or the grain line. So this is going to pitch your sleeve head a little bit forward which is obviously what you need if you're shortening your front armhole. Now once we've corrected that sleeve we are completed with this pattern correction because what you're going to notice now is our back pattern piece isn't affected at all. So you can see here that my seam line length from front to back once my dart is closed remains exactly the same. So we don't need to make any changes to our back pattern piece in order to accommodate this gaping front armhole. So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, you can leave comments below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.